Imagine for a second you have a son. Maybe you do, maybe you don't, but your son comes up to you and says, Daddy or Mommy, I really want to wear a dress, please. What would you say? What would you do? Well, if it were me, I'd probably sit him down and say, Hey, little Timmy, because that's what my son would be named, obviously. Hey, little Timmy, um, you know what? Dresses are for girls, and God made you a boy. So I know you really want to wear a dress, but we're not going to wear a dress because those are only for girls. And what happens? Well, maybe little Timmy's like, oh, I want to wear a dress. What do you do? Well, you comfort him. You say, you know, we're not going to do that. But, you know, you show him love and eventually he kind of gets over it and he goes on to the next thing because that's how kids are. That's how they, they are. You give them some attention. You understand what they're saying. You're with them. Okay, they. I know you want that, but it's just like they want a candy bar, right? I really want this candy bar. Well, we're not having that right now because, you know, we're. it's not supper. It's not dessert time yet. We're not going to do that right now. And the kid says, well, okay, well, okay. And then they finish their tantrum or whatever else and they move on to the next thing. Now, I know there are different parenting styles out there and I'm not sure exactly how I will be when I'm a parent. But today I'm going to introduce you to a parenting style that nobody should do. And uh, yeah, it's pretty insane. Her parents admit it was hard to process their then son begging in tears to wear a dress. I feel like I'm an open-minded person, but when it's like your son, you know, asking you to do this, you know, and I think I, I wasn't thinking about her feelings at the, at the time. I was just thinking about how are people going to react to You were it. afraid, a little bit afraid for her. Yeah, I was, and I still am afraid for her. But the North Carolina family, who asked that we not use their name, has learned to embrace a change they never saw coming. You know, if we continued to say no, mm -hmm. you have to live as a boy, she would continue, you know, she, She's young. I'm, I'm sure she would have done it, but like we didn't want to be her first bully. We wanted to support her. They just don't know how to parent. I'm sorry. Like your child comes to you and says, I want to wear a dress. And you say, well, we don't want to be our child's first bully. So I guess we have to succumb to it. It's like, that's not how parenting is. You don't succumb to every request of your child. And if you do, that's insane. Like what? Every time your child comes to you, I want to do this. I want to jump off the, you know, this building. I want to do this. Like, no, you can't. Sorry. No, there are some boundaries you can't cross. There's going to be some times that you need to say no. And did you hear what she said? She said, well, I'm sure if we would have said, no, you can't wear this dress you know, he would have went with it. She said she would have went with it, but he is a he. He would have went with it. Um, but, you know, we didn't want to be um, his first bully. It's like, what? You didn't want to be his first bully? Like, the, it's not being a bully to tell your child no to something that's going to harm them. And I'm not saying wearing a dress one time as a little boy is going to harm you. Like, probably most little boys have worn a dress or their sisters have dressed them up in a dress one time just for laughs. And it's like, okay, it's a funny thing you take a picture of once when they're like two years old. But nobody in their right mind should be saying, okay, well, this means you're a woman now to a like an eight-year-old what like why are we why are we trusting um children to not only know what gender they are but to understand gender or sexuality at all like at all it just makes no sense to me it's a complete neglect of your responsibility as a parent to say oh you know what you know best if you look to your child and you say actually you know best man that's a that's a bad parent. That is a bad parent, especially in this context. You're supposed to train up a child in the way that he should go. And when he is old, he will not depart from it. Not to succumb to every request and pleading and tantrum because, well, this is what they really want. We don't want to be their first bully. No, like you need to look at what is going to be most beneficial for your child to actually love them. This is the problem in our culture is we don't actually understand what love is. Like we don't understand what love is. As much as you hear in our society, this is all about love. We're just about love here. We don't like the Bible. We don't like Christians. We don't like those rules. We just like love. Just love everybody. But they don't know what love means. They think love means, well, if you want that, then do it. If that's what you want, okay, yeah, for, for sure, go for it. If you want to do that, yeah, totally. There's no sense of saying, 
hey friend or hey son i know you want this i know you want to be behaving this way um but this is not going to be good for you it's not and i know that's hard to understand right now but as your father as your mother you need to understand that there's some things that we know that you don't know yet and and you just need to trust us and i think in a lot of ways we need to have that same attitude with god to say okay god's saying to us hey I understand there might be a lot of things you don't understand yet. There might be things that you maybe feel like, I don't know what God did it this way. But you need to be open to saying, well, I'm going to trust him anyway. I'm going to trust him anyway. And that's how we should be with our kids and say, hey, kid, I know you don't, you don't understand why you can't wear a dress right now. But later on, you'll understand. I know you don't understand why you can't change your name and become a woman. But in time, you'll understand. And you, you'll probably thank, for, thank us for it. And that's just what the, the blow that you need to take. I think there's some people pleasing parents out there that are just saying, oh, well, this is, you know, I guess we don't want our child to be angry at us. So we, we should just just do whatever they want. No, no. You need to actually take the blow to have your kids say, you know what? I, I don't like you. You're mean. You messed up. You're a bully. You need to be able to take that as a parent. And to say, you know what? Hey, I understand you feel that way right now, but this is this is what's going to be better for you. Um, we need to understand understand and take seriously the words of Jesus when he says that if you know anybody that causes a little child to to stumble, they would it would be better for them that a millstone were tied around their neck and to be cast into the sea, than for them to do that, um, because it's just because the, the judgment against them is going to be so severe. And and we need to take that seriously to say, hey, those in society that are leading little children astray, that are causing them to have things done to their body that are unspeakable, those are not just confused people that are those are not just well-intentioned people that made a mistake those are enemies those are enemies and yes we're commanded to love our enemies but we're also commanded to oppose our enemies and speak up for those who are having injustice against them these are children these are children like i don't blame this this little boy i don't blame him at all because he's a child but but what are we going to do? Well, we got to speak up. That's why I, I speak up on this YouTube channel. Even though YouTube hates it, even though, um, you know, the algorithm it doesn't like it, even though I know I'm going to get pushback in a lot of ways, I don't care because these are little children that are being taken advantage of. These are little children that are having their lives destroyed because they're being put on hormone blockers, because they're, you know, having to take on this new identity for so many years of their life when they're just trying to figure out who they are. And like the mental trauma that that will do to you long term, it is so sad. Like, as a, as a like being put on hormone blockers for for little girls and then having to enter menopause as you're like a teenager or you know late a little bit later on it's like that is so sad and we need to push back against it as christians in not just an angry way but a, a way that demonstrates our love and compassion because this is done out of love as much as you might not understand that for folks that are saying that you're just bigots and you should just let people do what they want to do no if i were seeing you if i saw you and you had a blindfold on you were walking towards a cliff and i was say, hey, keep going that direction it's going to be good it's going to be so fun yeah keep keep going is that a loving friend no it's not because i see the cliff I see it. And maybe that seems arrogant to some people to say, oh, well, you're saying that you see something that we don't see. Absolutely. Absolutely. But that's not because of me. That's because of God. That's because God has opened our eyes to see. He, once we were blind, but now we were see. Now we see. We were all once beggars, right? We were looking for bread. We were all looking for bread. And God has shown us his mercy and given us this living bread and opened our eyes to see so that we can now lead others to say, hey, this is the living bread. Hey, this is where you can be, you nourish. This is where you can see. This is where you can understand how God has be done things and, and your desires can be put at the foot of the cross and you can take up a new identity. And there's no way on earth that I would be able to make this video if it weren't for the patrons on Patreon supporting me and what I'm doing and equipping people to follow Jesus daily. So thank you so much for your guys' unwavering support. If you want to support what I'm doing, click the link in my description and support this ministry on a monthly basis. It would be such an encouragement as I seek to continue to make content that glorifies God and points to him. Until next time. God bless.